channel. So this video has been highly requested and I have been meaning to do it for ages. And this is a vlog about our extension. So you might remember back, way back at kind of more really the beginning of the year, we started a extension. So this extension was all about creating more space for our twins. So Grayson and Lawson are two and they just needed that extra space. And we kind of wanted to, claim back our living room and have that as a living room and then create some more space in the kitchen like a bit of a playroom slash kitchen so while I was cooking and things like that I can keep an eye on the boys I have more space for all of their toys more space for them to like be on their scooters and things like that so the whole kind of like design and concept of this playroom slash kitchen is to fit in with our family life so it's not going to be for everyone but it's worked so so well for us I'm really really glad that I did it this way we toyed with having the lounge as a playroom um, and I'm really glad that we did it so Chris and I can just come in here and chill the boys still come in here as well um, but I just really like how it works in the kitchen now so we started it and then we went to Florida because that was when Chris was doing his golf school and while we were in Florida was when obviously everything kicked off with Covid so all work had to stop we came back to basically um, just a, bu a building site um, bless him Adam my builder who's an absolute star he'd cleaned it all up and he'd left it in the best possible condition he could for us to actually live in and then as soon as he was allowed to carry on working again he came back and we just made as much progress as we could with the materials that were available and so on so the whole thing took a lot longer than what it would have ever um but that's fine you know we lived through it and we just we just got on with it it was just one of those things so it's all finished now um i'll go and show you the finished extension let's go Okay, so I'll just walk you into the room. It's probably gonna be best if I put the lights on, so just bear with me. I'll talk you through what it was like before. So basically, you'd walk into this space, shut the door, um, and then all of this was still here. So this is our kitchen. Um, previously, we had a wall going all the way across there. So the extension has started from here. So the oven, etc., was all lined up against here in the fridge. So the island um, was already here. So let me just go right back. Um, so this, this space here was already there, uh, but obviously we've changed it around. That was where the dining room table was and so on. Um, so what I've done, um, well, what we've done, Adam, myself, and um, Chris, is basically open up all this extra space. This creates like a living area and this creates the playroom. And it's just amazing for me. So I can get on, I can cook, I can clean, I can do whatever I want in the kitchen area. And the boys have got all this space to play in. Uh, we've got a telly in there so they can watch their programs if they want to. Um, and then I'll talk you through the play area in a minute. So this bit was created here because that's where the wall was. So we've got like a breakfast bar thing here. And then we decided that we personally wanted to move the appliances over here so we've got this wine rack online um, obviously there's bits and bobs around guys because we live here so this isn't going to look like a perfect show home because this is a family home so this is now where the fridge and the freezer lives this is where our storage is and this is where the oven is this is the pull out drawer that we had before and it works absolutely brilliantly because when I get things out of the oven I can put them on here when I'm serving food I can put it on here to go over here and it's just been perfect so I'm really really glad that we did it this way the boys have now got just a little Ikea table here that's where they eat their breakfast and their lunch and then they eat their dinner over there so we'll talk about that in a minute I want to paint this this hasn't been painted yet but I want to paint it gray um this has got more storage under here and these are their learning towers so they come and help me every morning Grayson helps me Lawson not so much uh, but Grayson loves to help so they can stand up here and they help with things um in the kitchen so moving around to this area i'm a little bit torn what to do here so it'd be lovely if you could perhaps give me your feedback this just feels like a real empty space um and obviously it, it's good because there is space and they need space to move around but i feel like something's needed there i don't know whether 
I should get like a toy box or maybe like an ice cream parlor. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What would you put there? What would you put there? Bearing in mind this is their play area. For now, you know, as they get older, I'd probably be a lot more comfortable with them playing upstairs, um, you know, by themselves. But right now, there's no chance that I'll do that. So this is their little soft play. Oh, all of these things are featured on my Instagram loads of times. They've had these for a while now. Um, little dog, etc. Uh, they're obsessed with balloons, so they've still got some balloons. I had no intention of putting this foam stuff down. This was really old, actually. Um, we had this in the garage, but. I ordered two rugs and I didn't like the rug that came for this area. And actually, this is just better. It's better for children. It's just little foam squares. So I've just left it for now. Again, not 100% sure what I want to do about that. Um, then we got this storage from Ikea, which was an absolute nightmare. Um, because of COVID, Chris had like reserve it online. He'd get there. They didn't have it. It was just a nightmare. So this is Ikea and the Collax range. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And these are all Ikea. Yeah, like pull out drawers so we've got different things in each of these all their different toys etc so that's um something i'd quite like to get labeled but then i thought if they've got labels on and their toys change then maybe it's a bit pointless but i do like the look of the labels uh, and then they've just got a few of their toys the play sign i actually i'm going to do a bit of a competition on this i bought two don't ask me why I bought two. I did it completely by accident. <laughs> so I have a spare one. Um, I think I just couldn't make my mind up which one to go for. And I just accidentally ordered both. Um, so these letters have been handmade from a guy off Etsy. Um, and I bought two lots. So I'll probably do a bit of a giveaway if you're interested. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and if you would like some of these signs, then keep an eye out on my Instagram. Um, the frames we already had. These are old. These are just from. B and M, but what we decided to do, some of the photography that we've done of the boys, we decided to get them printed and put them into the frames. So this is one of our favourite shots here. Um, this one of them on the bench. A lot of you guys helped me with making these decisions on my Instagram, so thank you. And then this is just a really cute one of them in their sunglasses. So it's their play area, so I wanted it to be kind of like about them. Um, this kitchen we got at the beginning of lockdown from Ikea. It's okay. I wouldn't say they played with it that much, to be perfectly honest, but maybe they will the older they get. I don't know. Um, and then we put a shelf in here with some of their books. Um, these I got from eBay. I've also got some spare ones of these actually. Um, so if they want a bit of quiet time, then we can do some reading in here as well as playing. So they love it. They went absolutely crazy for this space, which is just adorable. And then I'll take you over to this back bit here. So these prints I bought from Decenio and we decided to go with like a bit of a navy palette in the end and I love them. Um, the frames I think we got from Amazon or eBay, I will double check. Um, we had the V-Lux, V-Lux, however you want to pronounce it. Um, we had those put in, so we were toying with getting like electric ones, but in the end we thought, Do you know what, we're probably not going to open them that often. Um, so we just decided to get ones with a pole, which is over there. Um, so yeah, it just was a, a better price. Um, spotlights we went for rather than like loads of other lights and I love them. I'm so pleased we went for spotlights. These spotlights you can actually change around so you can either have them like a silvery colour or you can have them white. Um, I went with white because it just goes with everything better. Um, I get asked about this flooring a lot. This is Cardine. Um, I'm having some more Cardine put in the dressing room soon as well. This table we already had. This is all from Next. Um, the chairs I think I got off eBay. Um, I bought a new vase to kind of match some of the colours in the room here. This is just from Denelm. Um, so yeah, pop that on there. Little candles and stuff. This table gets a filthy absolutely filthy because this is where the boys sit and eat their dinner in their little snack chairs so white is not the best color but hey <laughs> uh, and then we had the bifold doors put the majority of the way um across obviously you do need to get 
planning permission if you go any further out we did it at the absolute kind of like a limit as to when you don't need permission um, because of covid a lot of it was done online um, which was great but yeah everything has been approved signed off etc so the bifold doors went in and then what we did find is it was brilliant but it was really really hot um, and it kind of like left a glare on the telly so what we did we had this thing um, put in called envirofilm so i don't know if you've watched my little like snippets on that on my instagram but basically it's like this light gray kind of like tinted film and it keeps the room cooler inside or it helps to keep the heat in it means that during the day no one can see in at all so so it's completely <laughs> completely private which i love um, we're not massively overlooked anyway um however i just like that um kind of like privacy feeling that it gives you so yeah go and check out envirofilm if you're interested in having that um i wasn't paid to say that by the way guys this is just a genuine recommendation all of these things i bought myself um so our wedding photos that were over there we've moved over here and the telly that used to be up there, we've put here. So that wasn't too difficult to do. It was pretty easy. Just make sure you've got the aerials and so on. We actually ended up getting a Amazon Fire Stick because we didn't have Sky in this bit here. So I can still watch Netflix, YouTube, etc. Uh, this we already had, which was from Dwell. Uh, that we already had. Don't even know where that was from. Ikea, I think. And then we just got a nice little plant here that... I pretty much have killed already um <laughs> this bit all had to stay because of the structure of the house so we could potentially put something up there but i don't think it really needs it to be honest um bean bags i adore so these go with the sofa um the cushions the kind of like colors in the vase so these were from acorn and pip um they're like little bunny rabbits <laughs> they're so cute i talked about these on my instagram um and then the rug, I get asked about this rug all the time. So I think this is the perfect transitional piece in the whole room because this kind of bit is all like greys and whites and things like that. Whereas this bit has got splashes of colour in. So when I saw this rug, I was like, oh my God, that is 100% me. So this is like the greys, the creams, the whites of the other side of the room, but then it starts to transition into some blues. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'll put a link down below of where I bought that from. Um, I actually bought two and this one was the cheaper one. The one that was more expensive, I sent back. So I definitely recommend that. Um, then I found these gorgeous tables. So we didn't want like a huge coffee table here taking up loads of space because we thought that was a bit pointless but we did want some sort of table so the fact it's a nest of tables is great because you can see through them so you've still got all this illusion of space but then obviously you've got the tables so if you both want to sit down you can move one table over there um, or you just keep it like that or you separate them whatever um, but this is again very very me um, I found this from Colt Furniture um, and as soon as I bought it I was like yeah can't wait for that to arrive um, I actually looked at some other nested tables that I really liked but the delivery was seven weeks so I didn't want to wait that long so I went with this marble top one which I think goes really well because we've got quite a bit of marble um, in the toaster and the kettle just in this space over here um, and then the sofa I really like so I looked at all different sofas and a lot of sofas they are really expensive aren't they we just wanted something quite sleek quite slim quite modern and we just wanted a bit of a, a splash of color so we found this one and i'll put the name of the website where we bought it from down below i think it's the most amazing price guys i really do and the fact it's kind of like this soft material if the boys get it dirty it isn't the end of the world it wipes clean quite easily um, but i really like really like the style of it we went with mustard um, and believe it or not, I found these in Primark. So I was looking at like Next and Debenhams, John Lewis, all of those sort of places and I couldn't really find anything that I wanted. And then I went to Primark and I saw these. So the little bit at the back, this bit here, like the blanket or throw, whatever you want to call it. Um, we have this in different ways. So sometimes we have it like that and then sometimes we have it resting over the corner. Um, I don't karate chop my pillows. 
I know that's like the in thing now, isn't it? It's to like karate chop them and have them um, have them like that. But yeah, I don't do that. Um, and I've done a separate vlog on the garden. So obviously, yes, the garden looks completely different as well. Uh, but that was done in a separate video. So that is the extension guys we're really happy with it um adam was amazing he's the cleanest builder i've ever met and obviously he is a friend of mine as well um that doesn't mean that we didn't pay full price guys so none of this video has been sponsored or you know i wouldn't pay adam any less he's a friend he's a self-employed businessman um with a family to look after and his wife is one of my closest friends so yeah <laughs> But he is a fantastic builder and he definitely did it at um, probably a better price than what a huge building company would have done it at because Adam works alone. So he's done all of this work by himself, which I think is incredible. So that is what it looks like now. We're really happy with it. That's the utility room in there. You don't need to see that. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. There you go. There's the extension. So I'm so sorry. It's taken me so long to do that. I hope it was worth the wait. I hope you like it. Um, any suggestions then by all means just pop them in the comments box below any positive comments don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video I've got a few more home improvement ones coming up next I'm going to tackle the dressing room so watch this space see you guys bye